when a child's dream of having a family or becoming part of a family comes to be, it's an amazing, an amazing feeling. It's an amazing thing to see unfold. When our children first came into our home, I, I, I knew that um, they would always hold an incredible place in our hearts. Um, there was an instant connection with our children. There was an instant connection with us. I knew whether they stayed forever or went back to their family that we would have an, a forever connection with them. I remember walking in to the house and my two boys, who were probably about what, five and seven or something at the time, came running, screaming, we got Jasmine, we got Jasmine. And they were so excited that there was, um, that there was this little baby there now in the house. And unlike most babies that would have their hand or arm on you, she never did. She always had her hands back. She wouldn't, she didn't touch, she didn't cry. Never, I never met a baby who never made a sound until I met her. She never made a peep, but she came from a place where she was kind of hollow. There wasn't any, there clearly had been no connection and physical um, connection or emotional connection from where she came. And um, as time went on, I remember that day, um, six months later or so, I picked her up and for the first time, she just didn't hold her hands back. She actually put them on my shoulders Gently. around me. And as if to, to kind of say, hey, I know I belong here now and, you know, we belong together. And, you know, it was, it was really kind of one of those moments where things just changed. It was just special. And um, I knew that she belonged there forever. And I'm very thankful that she did stay forever. And so now, now she gets to hug me and I get to hug her whenever we want. So it's great. <laughs> We're after so many, well, it was probably several months after uh, Jasmine was with us when we got a call from four kids and they said, hey, same parents are having another child who's not going to be able to stay with those parents. Um, would you take her siblings? We said, okay, uh, you know, I guess, how could we not? But, but we recognized that you know, there's no way that we could let these siblings be split up, that it's so important, um, especially if they're in this situation where they're going into foster care and they're not, they're not with their birth families, that they be together, that they have that to hold on to, that they have each other to hold on to. Um, at the time, we didn't know whether it would be temporary that they would be with us. As it turned out, it was forever. But for whatever time period it was that they were in, this, in our care, that they would be together. And you know, it's, it's one of the things that we try to emphasize with people who say they're interested is, you know, make a difference for, for kids by not only giving them your love, but allowing them to keep the love of their brothers and sisters. And the bond that our two have is just incredible. I think it's so close and so tight, and I wouldn't have it any other way for them to spend their days together because they just, they just have an incredible attachment, and, and yeah. we're so glad we can nurture that. I think one of the hardest things is people always say to me, um, oh, I could never do that. And I, I tell them, I'm doing it, we're doing it, um, you can do it. And they say, well, we'll get too attached to the children and we could never let them go. And that's the risk you take for a child. They really need that love and, um, and they're deserving of that love. And it, it's worth every bit of it, you know. I think just to give that encouragement to a child.